Hello everyone. The COVID-19 epidemic has continued to evolve over this weekend. I know there remains a lot of worry and some confusion in our community. So I want to keep you up to date with our thinking here at ANU. As we have seen, COVID-19 infections exponentially increase if left unchecked. But Singapore and other countries show that with strong public health measures, including social distancing, attention to personal hygiene, and contact tracing, it is possible to continue with some form of business as usual while containing the spread of the virus. We also know that if the disease does break out, it can be controlled by large-scale shutdown of activity, as demonstrated in China and Korea. But the spread will happen again unless subsequent measures are sufficient to stop its spread. So let's all remember, society cannot just shut down until a vaccine comes along more than a year from now. We really will run out of toilet paper by then and everything else. So we want to find a balance, a balance where we can do most of our activities, but where COVID-19 spread is strongly limited so that we can avoid the exponential breakout of the disease that will require us to cease most of our activity. So much of our future actually is in our own hands. The better we do at containing the disease by our actions, the less draconian measures we will need to take in the future, and the safer our community will be. Here at ANU, we are among the largest concentration of people in the ACT, and we are already putting into effect measures that will limit the spread of the disease when it does come into our community. Last week, we talked about hygiene and social distancing measures each of us can take. Please don't stop. We have seen at other universities the need for many people to self-isolate when a COVID-19 case occurs in a large class. We're working to ensure even if a case does occur, occur in our community, others are unlikely to be infected. This week, we're going to start to push for fully online delivery of many of our large classes and look at those smaller classes and tutorials where social distancing is hard. That way, we can find appropriate solutions. But we may have to move fully online in the not too distant future, I'm afraid. Our residential hall, halls are where many of our students congregate. So we are working with our public health experts to implement protocols that make them resilient against COVID-19 spread. While we haven't yet had our first COVID-19 infection on campus, it is bound to happen soon. So we have to set up an incident response team who are in place to manage any cases that emerge. Just look on our webpage for their contact details in case you need them. We are looking at ways we will make contact tracing easier in the future as well. Each of us needs to be part of this response. While most of us will experience a relatively mild reaction to the disease, some of us will not. And it is for these vulnerable members of our community, each of us owes our diligence. So please be part of the community response, if not for yourself, for those around you. And don't come to work if you're sick. No matter what your circumstance is, I promise you, you will not be penalized for doing the right thing. Thank you very much.